Hello to everybody, my name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today we have this one, the DFS 90S. Uh, this person did this one, I forgot their name already. And I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be modeled after. But as you can see, it's kind of a plain, simple, thrown together mod. Sometimes that doesn't matter. Sometimes the simple can be quite decent, actually. So let's see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, we have two in engine one, two, and three. I guess we'll go with number three. Your box, you got the scout, highway, and off road. Uh, off road, I guess. Suspension, you got the stock. Uh, raised, which comes with it, and then tuned custom. Sure, we'll do that. Tires. Well, it certainly looks like it's just gonna be uh, in-game tires, it looks like, I think. I don't think he has any like special tires. But let's go with these 49 inch DMHS ones. Let's try these out. These look like a nice, nice off-road tire. Winch, you got winch one, two, three, winch five, and then winch four. We'll do winch five, sure. Hopefully it's offline, because it might be tippy. Visuals, you can change up the front bumper, or at least add a uh, little brush guard. It's, it doesn't look like it's quite complete, actually. That's okay. Colors. Well, you can switch up the color if you really want to. I'll just keep it the red that it is. I don't really care. No interior exterior customization. This thing is certainly off the ground. I'm actually quite curious on how this does. God, I... It looks like so many different trucks put together. Kind of looks like an Isuzu. Like a Toyota. A, maybe a Mazda. It, it's weird. Oh. Look at the inside, and there's nothing there to see. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. If lock and all-wheel drive are on all the time, that's... That's actually... Oh, oh boy. This thing might get kind of fast. But it is nice to see that all-wheel drive and dip lock are on. I don't think... About the trailers? No, you can't pull nothing but with trailers. Let's go see how this thing does. It's a little, a little slidey on the pavement. Hopefully it's not too tippy. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh! Oh, come on, there we go. All right. Take her through the little... Oh! Oh! Saved it. Take her through the washed out river here. Well, I tell you what, you're definitely keeping the axles up off the... Up off the ground. I, I haven't seen these tires yet. I don't know what these tires actually go to, but... For this thing... It... They... Oh, boy. They don't seem bad. You know, for in-game tires, they're not doing terrible quite yet. Oh boy. Let's see what Schwampy Town will throw at this thing once. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Seems to me that fourth gear is a little much, a little too much wheel speed. Low gear like oh, that was high. Oops. See, even even in low, or at least low plus, it seems like the wheel speed is just a little higher than what it probably should be. When you drop it in like actual low, this thing will just crawl through here. Yeah. That's, that's interesting.
Guys, it seems like first gear is just a little too much for it. A little too much for the mud, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, come on, get over that tree, there we go. I'm not sure if this is his first mod or not. That's oh, it's actually not doing like super terrible. Probably better than what I can do. I went over the down trees halfway decent. I am a little worried about the deep spot though, because there is no snorkel, and I've already gotten the. The danger high water warning. So we'll crawl into the deep spot here. I think we're just high enough off the ground where it isn't going to be that much of a problem. Yeah, this thing will just crawl, man. God, if he were to work some of these tires, this thing would actually be pretty decent just because it's so high off the damn ground. What's high gear like? High gear is really not that... Okay, it's not that fast. High gear isn't very much. Yeah, this thing will boogie once you give it some time. Yeah, fourth gear seems to be... Oh, yeah, it dropped. Okay. Definitely a little too much wheel speed. But we made it through. It didn't do that bad, actually. Let's go do some other stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this thing will... Oh, my goodness. This thing will get a little speedy. See how it does on the rocks once. I probably should go with that other suspension because this one seems really stiff. Oh. All right, we're back at it. Let's see if we can actually get up here. This thing is fairly short. I don't know how this wheelbase is going to help us or possibly hurt us. Sometimes the short wheelbases are, oh boy, are good. Sometimes they're kind of work against you. Oh no! Oh! All right, let's give that one more shot here. I think we can. Oh yeah, see the suspension is so stiff; it just bounces everywhere. Let me try that other suspension once. All right, I'm back. In order for me to choose the other suspension, I had to, uh, you have to go to smaller tire size, but I don't want to do that. I want these big tires. because I think it'll help me out. So we're going to stick with the uh, real rough suspension. All right, let's see if we can actually get this thing up not we'll just <laughs> we'll just bounce our way up there fuck it oh yeah all right, I decided to say fuck it. <laughs> this winch is very, very long. So I just winched up the goddamn rock. I want to see if it'll climb. 
Oh, God, it's... Oh, it's so close. And maybe I'm using the wrong tire. Maybe a different tire would work better on the rocks. I'm not going to sit here and try out 10 fucking different tires. Let's take it down the old trail and see how it does going down the trail once. All right, let's see if we can get some speed out of this thing. I do have the other suspension on, just because it's not so bouncy. Oh, come on. Oh! <laughs> Almost made it over the tree. Oh. Oh, I ruined the gas tank. I, you know what? This thing actually wouldn't be a bad jumper at all. It did pretty good. All right, now let's take it on the trail. Yeah, so like the old jump test, I went with the other suspension. So I, I, I'm not able to use the real big tires. But they are the same kind of tire. They're just a little shorter. So we'll see how this thing does. Doing a little more off-roading. But the one thing that I did notice, this suspension is... Uh, is way more fragile. Way more fragile. So, I'm really hoping <laughs> that I don't ruin the suspension on my way because I got nothing to repair it. It's just the other suspension is so damn stiff. You're literally... Oh! You're bouncing way too much. It's almost impossible to control off off you know off road oh oh no oh oh <laughs> this thing is a handful I would say even though this this drop for console like today He has plenty of time to, uh, well, to work on it, make improvements. He could really make this little bastard something actually, like, really good. It's actually not terrible the way that it is. But it could use just a little bit of a little bit of polish, I would say. Let's see how good these tires actually are. I don't know much about these tires. I don't think this truck there's really nothing to it. But the tires do seem decent. Just a little bit of hesitation. Not bad, though. All right, let's go back down. If I can get down. And then we'll send her on down. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. Oh. Safely at the bottom. <laughs> all right we got her all fixed up let's keep going I mean yeah it's not the best rock crawler but I don't know if that's what he really had in mind he could make it an excellent rock crawler if he really wanted to let's give him some time but I would say for being just a simple little scout this thing actually isn't bad. All right, here comes the puddle. Oh, it flew right through it. Yeah, there we go. You know, for being one of those simple, like, put-together mods, this actually wasn't all that bad. I have seen all I need to see.
Well, that was the DFS 90S. Not terrible. Right off the bat. It's not bad. I think those are in-game tires. I'm actually not really sure. They didn't do bad. I think some of his own custom tires would really fit it. Yeah, he kind of just kind of slapped this together. Well, I don't really give a shit what the hell it looks like. Does it perform well? And it seems like it's okay. It seems like it, it performs just fine. It seems like it makes plenty of power. I mean, I don't know if you could get the axle off the ground any fucking higher than what it is. But all around, not bad. It actually wasn't all that bad. I have tested worse. Let's fucking put it that way. So I'll say good job with this one. It wasn't bad. It was a handful, actually. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.